America. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Did we mention this is not all ages? And speaking of fuck yeah. So welcome to the news. Um, do, 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 do. So this is our I, uh, this was our kind of first official run of a weekly news update. You, you're watching the weekly podcast or not. If you're not, you should be, backroompodcast.com. Right. Um, but what we're doing is we do a normal 45 minute to an hour show weekly. We do that. And so we're going to do a weekly 10 minute news update where we give you the kind of the gist of what's going on and what you can watch to our show to check out more and hear more, but also just to talk timely about things. I like to think of it as 11 minutes of news crammed in a 10 minute package. Hmm. I've got a template. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, on, on that note, cramming it in your package, um, we are talking about, well, we've got a lot of shit to talk about. There's some neat stuff that's happened. Yeah. So let's go back the oldest one. This was a week and a half ago. Um, uh, shenanigans off stage is crazy. So a week and a half ago, w- w- prior to Free Comic Book Day, True. which we cover and is really great, so you should watch it. Yeah, uh, they revealed a still image of Thor. Yeah, from Kenneth Branagh's Thor, because that's what I'm calling it now, Kenneth Branagh. Which Thor. you should. I don't think enough people are aware that Kenneth Branagh is attached to what to to his Kenneth Branagh's Thor. Kenneth Branagh's Thor. 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 His Thor. I. That is not easy to Jesus say. Christ. No, it's not. No, it's so not. So Kenneth Branagh's uh, Thor, they revealed yeah. the first image of Thor himself, who's a yeah. relative unknown. He was Kirk's father in the Star Trek... It's not really a reboot, but... That is a reboot. Kind of. I mean, they still connected it to the other movies. Yeah, but it's it's a whole different reality. Now, but yeah. it wasn't. But it is now. Correct. So it's not really a reboot. But it wasn't the reality for back then. (laughs) So, back on topic here. So the Thor image, if you haven't seen it, you can see it. Do a search for it. It's all over the net. It's a good image. Uh, Yeah, it's pretty neat. Really cool. Uh, Looks good. Here's here's what I've noticed in critiques, and I kind of agree. Like, the costume's rad, and it looks a little updated. Right. A little modern, which is awesome. I expect a chain mail. And it's some sort of, like, material cloth. Mesh it kind of looks rubbery a little bit. I'm really glad they didn't do chain mail. There's, it, it just You did. don't want some sort of authenticity? No? No? No. Thor in the comics rarely had chain mail. So, what um, was it then? What was it made he of? Had that, he had that blue mesh. It, early on, it was just cloth. <laughs> And then, you know, we got the... There was chain mail at some point in the line, but that's not your traditional. I think it's more of, let's think about it, like a Kevlar weave. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I was waiting to see if Kevin no, was going to join us. The costume that they're... I don't have to get on camera. The costume that they're modeling it after is Oliver, Oliver Kobiel's version of it that came out in the J. Michael Straczynski comic, and it did have chain mail. That's what it's yeah. modeled, but let's... Move on from there. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That, that is that. So, isn't fair it enough. more Beta Ray Bill, anyways? Uh, Beta Ray Bill's awesome. But isn't so, it more his costume than actual Thor no, costume? No, this, no. this looks exactly like All Thor right. costume. Anyways, right yeah. Now. So, there's a still, we're awesome. excited. Looks good. Yeah. So, um, on that note, uh, if J- Iron Man 2 comes out on Friday, May 7th, 7th in just a few short months, uh, at, the, at the end of the trailers, uh, you can actually catch a nice little sneak peek. Um, spoiler. Uh, so, spoiler. 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 Um, just make Go. sure you sit through the credits because at the end, uh, I'm sorry, at the end of the trailers, at the end of the credits, Iron Man 2, they're going to have a reveal of Thor's hammer. So, um, so if you're one who skips the credits, don't walk Isn't out. It's going to be hanging there like no. hammer time? No. S.H.I.E.L.D. finds it. It hits come crashing to Earth, and S.H.I.E.L.D. finds it. And they focus on this giant crater, and in, in the center of it is Thor's hammer. And then it's hammer time. Yeah. You can't touch it. Oh. <laughs> Not ten inches of it. Um, so, on to our next piece of news. Boop, 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 boop. What can you tell me about X-Men? Uh, Brian Vaughn? Mm-mm. No? Which X-Men are we talking about? Matt Vaughn. Matt Vaughn, not Brian yeah. Vaughn. Matt the Vaughn. other one, his uh, his brother. So uh, X-Men yeah. First Class, they've talked yeah. about for a while. Mr. Vaughn. Um, is yeah. kind of the 
the uh, it's kind of the New Mutants X Men movie. Yeah, it's like the young generation. Um, not going to be necessarily a reboot, but it's going to rejoin the X Men universe with other characters. I think it's. I think anytime you stray away from original casting into changing up characters, it's a reboot. It's a different universe. It oh, is. My and, hero Patrick Stewart will still be in it because he's awesome. He's great. Right. But he's sort of not bodied, so, according to that third movie. Well, but I think this Which takes blew. place before the third movie, but we'll see. Okay. Um, and it potentially could include some of the characters that Xavier uh, rescued at the end of Wolverine Origins, or as wouldn't people that, like here. <coughs> sorry. Wouldn't that be neat to see, though? Yeah. More Xavier rescuing, like more of the setup, the beginning parts? I think that's kind of what we're expecting to see. I Ish. would like to. Hopefully it'll be a, a blend of Generation X and um, New Mutants. Generation X actually was pretty good. Had its own uh, yeah. TV pilot. So um, Also, I, I would be remiss in uh, mentioning that Mr. Matthew, not Brian Vaughn, uh, was attached to that kick-ass movie everybody loves so much. So I, I, I do, I am kind of curious if his, he first wasn't going to do the X-Men first class and then now he's decided to. And I wonder if the not-so-successful um, run of kick-ass has impacted his... Not-so-successful? It's... How would you it, put well, it? it took the weekend that it opened. Yes, not 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 very well. No, but it still took it. I mean, it's not what, what you, they what expected. You, well, is what I they expected to do thirty five opening, not huge thirty five is which is a, which is a is a good but not giant opening, and it's an R rated movie. So fair enough, R rated right. movies are never expected to have big openings, but it it hasn't quite performed as what to what people expected. So, um, I, I don't know. I, people seem to like it. Um, you know, we talk about it on the show. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, I, so if I you want to check it, it out. I liked it. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough? Good enough. Better than or worse than X-Men Wolverine Origins? I hated Origins. I hated that Wolverine <laughs> movie. I thought it was awful, awful, awful. Bone Claws is baloney. Wow. Bone Claws is what did it? Yeah, in the, oh. in the first two minutes. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Out. So, um, moving on. So, moving on, we had two other bits of news we were going to cover. Yeah, another casting for Walking Dead. Yep. And I don't have the name at present. Relatively unknown. I'll give it to you in a second. Uh, it was the doctor lady from Prison Break. Yes. Dr. Sarah oh, Tancredi. Oh. <laughs> and I went to high school with her, in case you weren't aware. And she's lovely. She's she, she is. She was a great so, actress. So it's a good, has. it's a good inclusion. It's uh, and I actually I think it's right casting. Cool. I think it's really right casting. I think it's a, it's a solid good thing. Um, so more Walking Dead news as yeah. it happens. So we're just about out of time, but I did want to kind of hit on one. Did you have another oh. one before we got on that? No, nope, that's definitely the one I want to okay. get on. So uh, Thursday, um, was it 29th of April? Um, here in Seattle, Make-A-Wish Foundation worked with a kid, uh, Eric Martin, and yep. gave him his wish to be a superhero. And they trucked him all around the region, saving... In a DeLorean. It, yeah, in a DeLorean. They shut down I-90, apparently, or yep. damn near, and uh, gave this kid his superhero wish. Yeah, he got to rescue the... Uh, the Sounders? The Sounders. From... Some Then back in Bellevue. Yep. And then back to the Needle. Yeah, costume and everything. Yeah, it was it was really awesome. Very touching. Really, really touching. So uh, we're really Electron excited Boy, about that. Electron Boy, we salute you. So go check it out. Electron Boy shouldn't be watching this show though. We're beyond his age. He's thirteen. You uh, think he's not entitled to do really whatever he wants right that's now? That's true. So go <laughs> check it out. You're tell him no. Go check it out. You can see it on our Facebook. You can see Electron Boy on CNN. Absolutely. You can see him pretty much all over the net. Um, check out the podcast, backroompodcast.com. Facebook.com. Yep, we're on iTunes, we're on Zoom, we're on Twitter. <laughs> we're everywhere you want to be and more. Thanks. <laughs>